Well, Scrooge, where's the old stranger? No sign of him. He's gone. Gone to the bottom with his gold. Gee, I wonder who he was. Well, it looks like I won the bet, Flintheart. How? The gold all went to the bottom. Not all of it. <laughs> How do you want it? With or without mustard? I'll get you. <laughs> so help me. I'll get you and my gold. you boys. Well, come on in. So, what can I do for you boys? We're helping with the city's sports program. Sports? Capital idea. You mean you'll support our program? Of course I'll support you. Great. It'll hardly cost you anything. <coughs> cost? What do you mean by cost? Oh, all our supporters are donating something. You only have to buy a trophy for the soccer tournament. See? A dollar forty-nine! When I said support, I thought you meant moral support. Uh, sharing, pom-poms, uh, that sort of thing. A dollar forty-nine? That's a lot of money. Wait a minute. I had a trophy once. Ooh, my first nickel. Ah. I found it. <laughs> ah, here you are. A bit dusty, perhaps, but quite suitable for a soccer tournament. I don't quite remember where I got it, but uh, no matter. But Uncle Scrooge, this trophy it, it, it. is... No need to thank me. It was the least I could do. What a miser. Dig in up this piece of junk just to save a dollar forty-nine. Yeah, it's probably not worth ten cents. Excuse me, but I must have a closer look at that trophy. Exquisite. The workmanship is marvelous and in such good condition. <laughs> Boys, I am the curious of the Duckburg Museum of Antiquities. This athletic urn of yours dates back to certain pre-Sumerian cultures of the Hebe-Jibe Valley. Do you have any idea how much this is worth? Your paper, sir. Thank you, Jeeves. Oh, soccer trophy worth millions. Millions? <laughs> Will that be all, sir? Scrooge parting with a million dollars? Giving away all that money isn't that nice. Hmm. Seems this trophy is worth quite a considerable sum. Certainly hope they've taken the necessary precautions to. Good heavens, the Beagle Boys! Look, me brother, a discarded issue of the morning tabloid. Let us see what is new in Duck Boy. <laughs> Come in, Uncle Scrooge. Now, come, come, boys. Can you not be reasonable? Look, I brought you this brand new trophy. Thank you. We'll be glad to take it. You will? Sure. It can be the prize for second place. You boys are taking advantage of me. And you're trying to take advantage of us. The only way you're going to get that trophy is to win it. And just how can I do that? By sponsoring the winning team. And I assume you got suggestions on which team might be in need of a sponsor? I can see you boys intend to take me for every cent I've got. All we need is a new ball. What's wrong with this one? It seems perfectly fine to me. 
Where's the help around this place anyway? We work the in a second. We just gotta put away a few things. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Such incompetence. <laughs> Bet you thought I dropped him, didn't you? Wow! This is just what we needed! Thanks! <laughs> yeah, glad to be of service. <laughs> Is there anything else I can do for you? Hey, my boy. As a matter of fact, there he is. Way to meet the team. You won't believe they were the last ones picked. <laughs> you, fellows. The name's Sport Goofly, and I'm going to be your new coach. <laughs> yeah. How many of you have played soccer before? It's quite simple. <laughs> the object of the game is to get the ball into the other team's goal and keep it out of your goal. Is that clear? Do you all know what this is? Swell. <laughs> yeah. Now let's see what you can do. Who wants to go first? Way to go! Great! <laughs> yeah, keep it up! Great! <laughs> yeah, let's see how you play as a team. watching TV while the twins here have been out rustling up a job. Yeah, like what? Like our dear friend Scrooge McDuck is giving away a trophy worth over a million dollars. A million dollars? Uh, hey, wait a minute. You know, we could wait until after the tournament and maybe see who wins, and then maybe, just maybe, then we could steal the trophy away from whoever wins the trophy, and then we'd have the trophy. That, me little brother, is a very clever idea. But I have a better one. We will call up a few of our cousins and formulate our own soccer team. Then we merely win the trophy and walk away with it nice and legal. But we don't know nothing about soccer, do we? But we don't have to. You see, brother, we are going to use our very secret and confidential weapon. We cheat! <laughs> That sports goofy's getting too good for his own good. Uh, then maybe we should arrange us a little get-together with him. Yeah, a real surprise party. <laughs> <laughs> To what? What's the matter, Scrooge? The championship. We're playing the Beagle Boys. Oh, don't worry about that. We'll just play them fair and square and made the best team win. <laughs> but you don't know the Beagle Boys like I do. They don't play fair. Don't play fair? What does that mean? It means they'll do anything to win. Falsify documents, bear false witness, perjure bribe officials, connive with minors. 
huh? They cheat. Cheat? No. That's against the rules. Hmm, that's a good idea. I better get ready for bed. Now, men, I want you all to get a good night's sleep so 